Good evening, I'm Sky, and you're watching a video presentation about me and my work. I'm a visual illustrator who enjoys portraying various characters that I made up, people interacting with monsters in all shape or form, exploring the depths of trauma and pain, and of course, surrealistic visual depictions of emotion and being, often by using some form of body horror. If you look through my art, you will see that many bodies and shapes are in some way hurt, mangled, or scarred. That's not to say that I romanticize the concept of pain and suffering, but rather I like to see people not be ashamed of the pain they went through, since they became stronger through the course of it. Of course, dealing with past experiences is different for everyone, but I'm just explaining my own viewpoint. Not only that, I want to show how badly can love hurt. Any sort of love, platonic, romantic, or lustful. And that's what I find beautiful, that we as people willingly suffer for the ones we love. If you keep looking, you will find some aspects of sci-fi. That is because I grew up on that stuff. I grew up with comic books, movies, and all sorts of things that inspired me to keep going with these ideas. When I was 14, I started a comic book that did not end up so nicely as I wanted it to be because it was just a huge clusterfuck of ideas that I could not organize. And that was a big problem. As I grew up, I figured I could make a new idea, a new concept of everything, honestly. Right now, I'm just drawing singular pieces of each and everything that I feel or I think of, or maybe just a interesting idea that I had and I had to put it on paper because I thought, yeah, that's gonna look pretty cool. In the future, however, I do plan on making a normal comic book. That's why I am trying as hard as I can to understand and draw as many people as I can. Some faces you might find more often than others and those are probably my original characters that will be featured in the comic book in the future if I ever do it of course because I am terrible with organizing time. And at this second, I still have a heck of a lot of ideas that I still did not put down on paper, or finish in fact. So in the hopes of making a comic book in the future, that's honestly not the only thing that I aspire to be. I also want to just in general make more bigger, more detailed pieces. I want to make scary art. I want to make art that makes people feel, I want to make art that really makes a difference or just helps people realize something. I honestly don't know how to put that into words. But genuinely, whenever somebody tells me that this or that piece made them happier or made them feel something or made them realize something, that always makes me very happy. Because at least what I do that I love that made a difference in someone else's life and that's like the biggest, greatest thing that I could ever hear. But again, I'm only starting and that's not just the only thing I want to do. 
I'm aspiring to be a tattoo artist as well because I know that is a much nicer thing for me. I know that that's going to be fun. I know that I'm going to interact with people, get new stories from them. And it's very fun for me to make small little illustrations to put on people's skin. I've had commissions done for tattoos and it was amazing. I just need that one last step to actually become a tattoo artist. In the future, of course. Hopefully this summer or something. I do like to draw myself a lot as well because I find that to be relaxing and there's no kind of pressure if I draw myself because I don't care how it's gonna turn out, I don't care if it's gonna be ruined, it's still gonna look fine to me because it's me and I don't care about me. I also tend to draw my girlfriend a lot because she is the biggest inspiration to me. Through her face, there's a lot of pieces that came to life and she in a whole is like the biggest muse to me. And I'm very happy to have her help me through all of this and support me, of course. I draw inspirations from the occult, witchcraft, satanism, all sorts of horror stories that I've heard throughout the times, cults, religion honestly because religion is the scariest thing to me because it's literally just a glorified cult that everyone thinks is okay but is actually has its own flaws each and every single one of them but that is I'm not gonna get into that because I don't want people to be upset and I don't mean to make people upset that's just my viewpoint. I take inspiration from Junji Ito, from Lovecraft monsters, from sci-fi novels, from Outlast the game, from Resident Evil, from comic books, everything that I can possibly see. Even if I go out on a walk, that already is inspirational to me because I see different sorts of trees and I'm just like I gotta draw that man I gotta draw that but of course I never do because who has time for that I'm still gonna go to school about art I'm still gonna study more of it I need a lot to get there. This is only a start for me. Like this, literally, I may have been drawing for like seven or eight years or my entire life, honestly. But I feel like only now I am beginning because I'm finally taking steps to this thing that I can actually make a career out of on Patreon, with commissions and whatnot. I'm very excited to do that because heck, I would love to have a studio space for myself. Right now I'm only in a small little corner in a room and I'm really happy with what I have so far. But you know, future plans for future times.
I draw inspiration from people and their stories and their experiences and their pain. My own as well, but I mean, that's obvious. Sometimes you meet a person and you think you have to just somehow make them live forever. Maybe that's why I draw my girlfriend a lot. My current supplies right now are Sonnet watercolors, a porcelain palette for those watercolors. Sometimes I use gouache, but that's a story for another time. A bunch of brushes, markers, pens, specific brushes and stuff. Honestly, Everything that I have is just a collective result throughout my entire life. Some things I kept ev from ever since I was 12. Some things are borrowed from a friend. Some things are belonging to my girlfriend when I moved in with her and there was a brush and oh my goodness, it actually is very good. How even? I sharpen my pencils with a knife or I use mechanical ones, but the latter I use only for details and the very extremely sharpened ones, those are for sketching out very rough things. I tried to do this little time lapse for three times already and finally I managed to do something normal, which is very basic, but shows what I was feeling at the second, so I guess I succeeded in something, right? I hope you enjoy it as well. At this moment, I guess it will be a great opportunity for you to see how I work, how I draw, even though this one is really, really slow. I also draw inspiration from insects and various creatures. I forgot to mention that mutations and genetic modifications, not the nice good kind where we actually help people get food and water and whatnot. No, I'm talking about the ones that are very awful, like Chernobyl disasters, those kinds of things. Yes, I draw inspiration from that. Heck, someday I plan to have a honeymoon there and my wife, she loves that. She loves that idea. <laughs> <laughs> 